Namaste everyone. When I think about women's health, three things clicks on my mind. Menopause, menstruation and cervical cancer, as these are the major concerns leading to death of women globally and in context of Nepal. Menstruation is a discharge of blood and tissues from the vagina in women which starts around 9 to 13 years of age. Yet knowing that in this phase children and women go through pain and discomfort, still in some rural areas they are isolated and kept separately deprived of nutrition and care. In lots of women different reproductive health issues still prevails due to poor sanitization and lack of hygiene knowledge which initiates problems like uti infertility irregular cycles and cervical cancer i can still overhear that women have been using piece of old clothes as a pad not only that but washing and reusing it which is completely unhygienic low income is also a major factor related to this issue for all this, I would like to say there should be frequent health education programs in communities for those who stay at home and also after work awareness program to the literate so that they can educate their families. It can be regarding menstrual hygiene, hand washing, disposal, sanitization of menstrual cup, nutrition and care. It would be great if menstruation products can be provided in minimum cost and tax free. And also women friendly toilets have to be improvised inside schools all over Nepal as there is high chance of infection during this phase. Let's also focus on collaborating with industries which waste products might be the materials useful to make sanitary products so that we could supply more and prevent health hazards such as cervical cancer. Cervical cancer, which is abnormal growth of tissue in the lower narrow canal of the uterus. According to tumor virus research 2022, there is approx 51 lakhs new cases annually and 3 lakhs deaths globally. Cancer can take over in 7 to 8 years. Some symptoms of cervical cancers are low back pain, loss of appetite, and smelly discharge. It can cause due to early marriage and early sexual exposure. Also due to having multiple sexual partner, which applies especially in context of binge drinking teens and adults nowadays. As identified the measures by the government, the screening rate is very low due to cultural barriers and lack of health education. So all women should be aware of cervical screening, which can be done in 15 minutes to detect the problem earlier. It would be better if we could create a health related app where appointment system is initiated especially for pap smear test. Now, do we everyone know about menopause? It is a phase in women where female hormone estrogen is decreased and resorbed eggs in ovary get slow day by day then menstruation stops which occurs approx around 47 years. Some of the things to be considered in menopausal women are Even simple fall can occur fracture in menopausal women as there is more destruction activities in bones which reduce bone density so vitamin D3 calcium supplements can be consumed. Mood changes, feeling annoyed every time, short term memory loss can occur during this phase due to imbalance in serotonin hormone. So please be mindful of that too. By saying all this, I would like to thank you all for watching and listening to my videos. Bye.